Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tennisshare channel. If your iPhone keeps restarting and stuck in a boot loop, you're not alone. Good news, you probably don't need a trip to the Apple Store. In this video, I'll show you the fastest and safest ways to fix it at home without losing your data. Let's get started. Method 1. Use Reiboot, the most reliable fix. Want the fastest way to fix your iPhone? Start with Reiboot. It's a pro iOS repair tool that fixes boot loops and system issues without deleting your data. Just connect your iPhone to your computer. To enter recovery mode, press volume up, then volume down. Then hold the power button until the recovery screen appears. Once Reiboot detects your phone, click Start Standard Repair. It'll download the firmware and start the repair. No data loss, no stress. Just sit back and let it work. Most users say their phones were fixed before they even finished their coffee. Reiboot is the easiest and safest fix out there. Method 2. Force restart works for minor glitches. If the issue just started, a simple force restart might do the trick. Here's how to do it. Press the volume up button quickly and release it, then press the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. That's it. This method can fix small software hiccups. But if your iPhone is seriously stuck in a boot loop, don't expect miracles, and trying too many times might even make things worse. So if it doesn't work after a few tries, switch to Reiboot. Method 3. Update or restore using Apple devices. You can also try updating your iPhone to the latest iOS sometimes that fixes the issue. But if the problem started after an update, this probably won't help. In that case, go with Reiboot instead. If it's not update related, here's what to do. Download and install Apple devices on your computer. Connect your iPhone and put it into recovery mode. Once detected, click update. If your phone's already up to date, it'll say no update required. You can click restore, but that will erase everything unless you've backed up. That's why Reiboot is a much safer option if you want to keep your data. But if an update is available, let it finish. Your phone should reboot normally after that. Method 4. Wireless repair using another iPhone. This one's super cool, but it only works if you have another iPhone nearby. In 2025, Apple rolled out wireless system recovery. S how it works? Put the two iPhones side by side, one working, one stuck. On the broken one, press volume up, then volume down. Then hold power until the phone enters recovery mode. Then quickly press the power button repeatedly. The working iPhone will detect it and offer a system repair option. Just follow the steps, enter the pairing code, and you're good to go. It's wireless, fast, and feels super futuristic. The only catch, not everyone has a spare iPhone lying around. But if you do, lucky you, this might be the easiest fix out there. If none of these methods work, there's a chance the issue is hardware, related, like a bad battery or a damaged logic board. At this point, it's best to contact Apple support or visit a trusted repair shop. Here are some quick tips to avoid this headache down the road. Always keep at least 510 GB of free space on your iPhone. Check your battery health. If it's below 80%, it might be time for a replacement. And that's it. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone tips and fixes. Tried a different method that worked? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.